Hello, this is Doug Stroud, and I'm an LN Logistics Consultant. As you know, LN creates a lot of financial integration transactions. But one of the things that you can do to reduce the number of financial integration transactions being created is to use inventory movements to move inventory within a warehouse rather than using warehouse transfers. When moving inventory from one location to another within a warehouse, there's two options. One is inventory movements, which is really good for moving it from one single location to another, or inventory movements range when you want to consolidate all the inventory from multiple locations into a single location. So one of the easiest ways to, to do this is to open the stock point inventory and using the view buttons, find the record that you want to work with. So in this case, I'm going to work with battery A. And what I want to do here is one of the things I can do is I can actually print a report by and an easy way to do it for a given item is if I click the box here and I say all, you'll notice that all the locations are checked. Then I can click the printer icon, which if you look at the drop down, there are a number of different reports but there's one called inventory point by warehouse and item, which is the default report. That's what the little blue dot indicates. So if I just click the printer icon, it opens it. And since I've selected the records, all I have to do is really click the print button. It asks for a device. I put in a device and it gives me a report of all the inventory. And what I can do here is I can tell them to move all the inventory from location zero to 0101. Let me expand it so you can see it better to 010101, and actually, this is a demonstration I'm going to do too. I'm going to move 0 to 010101, and then I'm going to move 010103 into this 010101 location. And the way to do that is if I close this report, and I close the print, and I go back, and I uncheck these two locations here, and I go to either action, where I've added, again, using the toolbar, Personalization, I've added move location here, but I can go to action and say move to location. It says from where, which warehouse you want to move it from. Again, from this warehouse, it picked the item, the location. Here's a checkbox that says full stock point. If you use full stock point, it says to, it's telling the system to move all of that inventory into my destination location. If I uncheck this, then here in the quantity, I can specify what to move. But in our case, we want to move it all. Remember, we want to move it all to 01, 01, 01. And here is another way I can give a report to the warehouse personnel if I don't want to use the other one to tell them to move this inventory. And I click Move. And you'll notice it gave me a report that says move all the inventory from location zero, which is 10 pieces, to 01, 01, 01. Okay, let's close the report. Close the session. Now you'll notice it's here. Now remember I said I wanted to also move this one. So I can check the box. I can go to action. Well, actually I have to do a refresh first. Now I can go to action and say move location. And at this point in time, I can tell it I want to move 010101 again. I want my report. And I click move. And as you can see, it again gave me another report. It says move all the inventory from 010103 into 010101. Now the thing about this was you noticed that in this case I had to do multiple moves because I wanted to move all the inventory or consolidate it all into one location. So another option for doing this, and again I'm going to find a different item so I can demonstrate this. I'm going to go find my washer each. And now what I'm going to do is you see I've got inventory in multiple locations. Now a couple of things to remember. Move location will not, or, or even a warehouse transfer, would not move inventory if it's blocked or if it's allocated. So in this case here, there are 18 pieces in location zero will not be moved because remember this allocation at stock point level is a hard allocation. There's probably a pick list that's been generated to pick this inventory and move it. So therefore, it will not allow me to move that inventory. But with this being shown here, what I'm going to do is go back over here and I'm going to go to move inventory. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hold down my control key and click this button. You'll notice that it opened that 
screen in a different window. So now if I went back to my stock point and then I opened that one, I can see both. So I know my warehouse here that I want is DE WM00 and the item is washer each. And I'm telling it, I, want, I could tell individual locations or everything. And I'm going to tell it that I want to move it to a brand new location. So I'm going to go in here and you'll notice that location two, and let me zoom back to that again so I can show you this. You'll notice that location two was not a fixed location and it was not occupied. So I say, okay. I tell it I want to do an update. It's going to print. And I tell it to move the inventory. I say, okay. And you'll notice here that what I ended up with is moving nine pieces from inventory location zero, three pieces from location 1,000, 30 pieces from location 1,006, and 40 pieces from 1,007, all being moved to location 1,002. So if I close this session and I close this, and I come back here and I do a refresh, you'll notice that now I only I have all my inventory in 1002, except remember the 18 pieces that I told you could not be moved because they were hard allocated, okay? So now you've seen two different ways to move inventory from one location to the other without creating any financial transactions. I hope you've enjoyed this session, and I wish you a good day. Thank you. Bye-bye.